So when you're ready to take your woodworking to the next level, a glue mat will be great for cleanup, ease of use, all those glue ups you have. Now, I also have a link I'll put below so you can find these on Amazon. And I search for places like Walmart and all through Amazon. And the key was, this is actually a pastry mat. Since my wife does a lot of cooking and she had a silicon mat, it was far cheaper to buy one that was listed as baking rather than woodworking. The second product we're talking about is this nifty little glue gun looking mechanism that's actually shoots a polymer that replaces epoxy. So when you're serious about fix, filling knots or blemishes in woods, variety of different colors, knot tech is the best solution for that. So let's get into the product review. Quick tip on the holiday shopping guide. I can't be more excited to have found this. And it's not just found it, but found it at a cheap price. This is a glue mat. A cheap $10.99 glue mat that I got on Amazon. I'm going to leave a link below for you. But I want you to know I compared. I shopped at Rockler, $24. Shopped at Woodcraft, $28. And they were smaller than that. So this thing here is a comfortable, looks to be about 15 by 24. And lo and behold, I got two of these for the price that you can get one at these other woodworking stores. So if you use glue like I do and you have stuff and it gets all yuckied up and because you have spillover and all that other stuff, by golly, you need a glue mat. This is just the thing for you, because when it dries, it's gonna peel off nice and easy. Now I'll show you how easy it is to take this glue off. You just kind of bend it back, and the glue just kind of comes off on these strips. <laughs> it's pretty nice to be able to do a cleanup and have it just roll off. So for an easy, quick cleanup, Silicon cooking mat, pastry mat, is the answer. Okay, so we have a few knots we're going to fill, or actually these are worm holes that we're going to fill, and we have some we have taped off we're going to let lie. So what we do is squeeze this silicon into the hole it on a aluminum block and it immediately cools it in just a few seconds. So you overfill your knot or your hole in my case. Then you come along with the aluminum block and hold it for a few seconds. Bingo. Pretty nice, quick. Beats doing epoxy. Now that shrunk down some, and that did too, because it went seeped into the hole. So I'm gonna put another little dab on top of that to fill that, because these worm holes kind of went down into the wood a bit, and so that epoxy migrated as it should have. Now we can try our mouse plane, which is basically a plane blade level to the ground and it's sharp as you would expect it. I'm gonna take this big piece here. Make for a nice cut. Come back and clean that a little bit more. And then you sand it after that. Pretty thin, I'm not. Show an example a video of being pretty aggressive and taking the cloth. Um, there you go. Look how nice those wormholes look now. Looks pretty good. A little sanding, you get that last little bit of residue off. 
We'll be good to go. So now I want to show you what it looks like before I start sanding. Those are the wormholes that we filled on that side. And there's some that we filled on this side. So this has a little halo effect of the polymer on the outside of it. So we're going to sand it to see how, how long it takes to get rid of that. Well, that was fast. I even put it on time delay. But lo and behold, the halo was gone in just, oh gosh, less than a minute, I was using 180 sandpaper. So now let's do this side at regular time to show you. All right. That was pretty good. I'm impressed. Wow. Just eons quicker than epoxy. So these glue mats make for a great stocking stuffer, so put it on your list. I'm also going to put a link below for a large glue mat that is two feet by three feet. Giant, so if you've got a big mess you're going to have, you need a bigger mat for it. So if you liked our video review on these two products, hey, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, consider subscribing down below. And as usual, come back and see me real soon.